Hello students, today we will talking about energy and its forms, unit 2, lesson 1. We are talking about the energy and its important to us, especially in a digestive system and respiratory system. We said that both help us to get energy. Without energy, we can't do anything, we can't do any work, we can't do effort, okay, without energy. You can't study, you can't play, you can't move, you can't live. Look at those pictures. Look, this boy study, right? Run, riding bicycle, right? If their body has no energy, they can do nothing. They can't study, can't run, can't ride a bicycle, right? So, energy is very, very important to us. We can define energy as it is the ability to do work or to make a change it is the ability to do work or to make a change okay energy has many forms look at those pictures please we said energy has many forms okay look at this toy you know it yes when you turn this button you see this white button you give this toy an energy which is called potential energy when you turn the button of this toy you give it a potential energy potential energy okay okay and when you leave it on the floor it will move right okay so when you turn the key or the button you give it a potential energy okay look at the Sun what we take from the Sun the Sun gives us light yes light energy light energy also we can take light energy from an electric lamp okay okay and what is this yes you know it electric fan right when you connect the electric fan to the electricity, it will move. This moving produces kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Okay? Okay. What is this? Do you know? Yes, it's the heater. Most of our homes have the heater, right? What it do? This heater produces heat. Heater produces heat. When you connect it to the electricity, it will produce heat. Yes, heat energy. The heater produces heat energy. Excellent. Do you know this? Yes, it's a solar cell. It's found above the building like this. What the solar cells do? It collects the light energy from the sun and produce electric energy so solar cell produce electric energy or electricity solar cell produce electric energy or electricity okay what is this it's a battery right the battery store chemical energy the battery store chemical energy okay there is the final Finally, the last form of energy. When you play on a piano or a violin or a guitar, you produce sound or music, right? This music or oh, this song sound called sound energy. So when you're playing on a piano, you produce sound energy. Sound energy. Excellent. We can summarize the form of energy as number one, potential energy, like the energy stored in a spring of a toy car. Number two, light energy, like the energy produced from the electric lamp or sun. Kinetic energy, like the energy produced from the electric fan or washing machine. Heat energy, like the energy produced from the heater. And sound energy, like the energy produced from the piano electric energy like the energy produced from the solar cell and finally 
chemical energy like energy stored in a battery or a dry cell okay you have to study this form and we will continue the next video inshallah